When I tell y'all I don't do hair, and this lady begged me to do her hair because she's trying to find a man. And I said, girl, I don't do hair, and I'm not a magician, but I'll do the best I can. She brought some products over here in a bag. Y'all can stop and read what it is. I don't know. She didn't know. I didn't know. Haven't had her hair done in two years, and she let it mat up like this. She never had dreads. It just matted like this. I washed her hair. I put a bag over it, and then I found a shower cap. And I was like, this is not a job for one person. This is a two-man job, so two, come help me. Two blow-dried it while the conditioner was in there. And we also took it off and put some kind of detangling stuff in there, thinking that we could probably save her hair. Um, then after we put the detangle on there, we tried to detangle it, but baby, no. Her hair had grew pretty much, but it was just too much to handle. So we put the shower cap back on there, let it soak again. Y'all, look how matted it is. Like, it was breaking off, popping off. And I was like, you know what? We just going to have to cut it all the way down. And you're just going to have to start over, you know? So... I tried and tried and tried, but it just, it wasn't giving what it was supposed to give. I let it soak, and baby, I got to cutting. I have never cut hair a day in my life, um, but today was the day. So once we cut it, I blow dried it, and that's all that was left. I told Toot to do the back. I rubber banded it off. I put jam on it. We started plaiting. Toot did the back. I did the front. I told this lady, don't you ever let your hair sit for two years again. She got some beautiful hair, and the finished product will be in the next video, y'all. After this, Tula dipped the ends. Sometimes it takes us to restart in life for us to do better. She loved her hair. She can go find her man. Bye, y'all.